understand when I wrote my first book, I didn't understand that making friends or failing to make friends is a distinctly different thing from making enemies or not making enemies. They are not opposites and they don't go together. You see, if you're a person like me who's sort of socially impaired, if you're one of these people who, if you go into a bar and you're with somebody else and, and he says, okay, there's four girls over there. One of those girls thinks you're really cute. The other three think you're the most ridiculous freak imaginable. Which girl thinks you're cute? I have no idea. It would just be, you know, a one in four chance that I would push the right button. I, I have no way to tell. And yet I know that there are people who can tell. There are people who have that kind of social success. They can just look at another person and they can say, yeah, she likes me or he doesn't like me. Or, you know, they can see this in other people. And I'm not one of those people. So if I try and take the initiative in making friends, what happens is I have a three out of four chance that I'm going to walk up to the girl who thinks I'm a ridiculous freak and I'm going to say hi to her and she's going to snicker at me and laugh at me. And that's just how it played out for me at those high school dances, you know, 35, 40 years ago when I was a little kid. And I, and I think many of you who grew up different, you, you had your own versions of that same experience and it kind of puts you off becoming the aggressor in social situations. So,